The first thing you're going to do is leave your dog in a sit stay and then you're going to go to your target and what you're going to do is you're going to place a runway of treats down the center of the target because this is going to give your dog a complete focus of going forward. Now you're going to return to your dog and you're going to release your dog. Your dog should then go to the target and start eating the treats methodically from the first to the last. And what I want you to do while your dog is doing that is clicking each time your dog eats one of those treats. When all those treats are gone, your dog is going to turn around and return to you. And you're just going to wait the dog out and see if it's going to go back to the target. And if it does go back to the target, I want you to click immediately and your dog should turn around and come back to you for a treat. Repeat this process over and over and over again. And what you might have to do is sometimes you might just have to wait the dog out because the dog might get confused and might stall out in front of you because you're paying from your person. But what you really need to do is just look at the target and wait for the dog to go back to the target. Also, you really need to make sure that you're only clicking when the dog's feet are on the target and the dog is facing away from you. The other thing I'd like you to take note of is that I'm not saying a word to the dog. I'm just looking at the target, waiting for the behavior, and then I'm clicking and feeding. If your dog really stalls out, start from the beginning. Set your dog in a sit-stay. Make a runway of treats down the center and start from the beginning again.